Hi, Green Talk readers and listeners. I'm doing an interview today with Michelle Roberts. She's the Senior Director of Marketing at American um, Standard. And it may sound a little weird for you because I'm actually podcasting this and I am video casting this. And it also will be on the Green Talk website. So sometimes I might interchange words like readers and listeners and video readers and listeners. So kind of go with the flow and you kind of know what I mean here. Michelle, thank you so much for coming today. Um, I've had the pleasure of going through your Responsible Bathroom site. It is amazing, and we're going to walk everybody through it today and explain why water makes sense. Um, Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you, Anna. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here. So let's get right into it. You know, people, everybody seems to talk a lot about energy consumption and carbon footprint and all those things, and everybody forgets the lonely one out on the side, the the blue color one, the the water. And I wanted to um, go through with you why water sense makes sense and give us a little background of what water sense is all about. Okay, absolutely. Absolutely. At American Standard, we're very conscious of the fact that water is a precious commodity. And uh, with the amount of droughts that are happening with fresh water, only 1% of the of the nation's supply of fresh water is, is available for drinking. And it's, it's almost, they're alarming statistics, but if we don't do something now to save water for our generation and future generations, we're going to run out. Nature's not making enough of it quick enough. So we, as a company, have done a lot of things. We've titled ourselves almost as having a campaign called The Responsible Bathroom, because everybody needs a bathroom, but it needs to be responsible. And doing, saving water is how you become a responsible bathroom. So if you like, we can start going through some of the things that we as a company have done to create the responsible bathroom. That would be great. Now, for those of you who can't see that I'm videotaping this and they're actually just listening to this as a podcast, I'm on the responsiblebathroom.com website and um, actually under the education tab. And there is a wonderful stream of water saving facts that Michelle and I are going to walk through some of them because they're terrific. But I didn't want you to be feel like you can be left out because you can't see it. So it's uh, www.responsiblebathroom.com slash education. And then if you go to the tab that does with the stream water savings facts that's kind of where we're getting all the information and you can see that as well as when you go to their website so michelle let's go through explain what the conservation by the numbers means and i think that is one second let me get to that tab um there's some great numbers here that you guys have gone through um if you can go to your conservation by the numbers tab michelle okay tell us give us some examples i know you were alluding to it before we were um actually did this call of some numbers that are just staggering. It Well, it is staggering. To me, you know, I, I have a family, and the thought of only 1% water being available from nature to, to drink is, is frightening. And we as a company have put together programs and products with a goal of saving 18 billion gallons of water. And that's actually enough water to fill 26 Olympic-sized swimming pools. So we've got... The campaign online, which we're going to go through, and we'll talk later about a mobile marketing campaign with that goal of saving 2 billion gallons. And if everybody does their part, we will help We will help conserve this precious commodity. And if you put out – if you're looking through um, streaming down the, the figures here, a leaky faucet – and many of us have them out there. It's it's an older faucet. If a washer goes, if if a piece in the handle or the stem goes, water drips. Well, by just replacing a faucet, you can save. It, it, the amounts are here, showing you on a on a um, water by putting it off a water faucet here by shaving 300 gallons, 240 gallons. Uh, if you turn the water off simply just when you're brushing your teeth. When, uh, the the fact above that with the 300 gallons, put the water off, gentlemen, when you're shaving. Every little bit helps. And uh, by reducing the shower size, everybody lo- loves a long, luxurious shower. But an eight-minute average a day can waste so many gallons of water. And the facts are astounding. If you could change out to one of our water-saving shower heads, you can save 40% water. And it, it's a lot. It all adds up. It's, it's amazing. I mean, I'm just looking through these facts right now, and so many people have those older toilets, those 3.5 gallons. They yes. haven't switched out yet because, you know, they're working fine. They don't figure they need to. I mean, just to, I'm trying to find that fact. It was Well, here it is, eight, eight gallons a day. And, and to your point, 
Anna, believe it or not, some people in this world, in this nation, still have five-gallon toilets. That was the original gallon size. It was five gallons. Then in the 90s, it changed to 3.5. Then recently, 1.6. And we've even developed some that are 1.28. But if you look here, uh, in the lifetime, 224,000 gallons of water used in a lifetime with a 1.6-gallon toilet because the average consumer uses it or flushes it five times a day. So that's that's staggering amounts. And imagine if those people out there who still have the 3.5 and 5 gallon. It's it's amazing because even with the 1.6, people don't realize, which is the you know the new standard, is, yes. is uh, people don't realize how much gallonage they're using, and they don't realize how much that's really costing them. And, yes. And um, let's go back to um, how are you complying with the program, the Water Sense program? The Water Sense program is a, is a government program, am I correct? Yes, it is, and and we do partner with them, and uh, what we do is we have developed products in in our line water saving toilets uh to the 1.28 gallon we've got believe it or not we even have waterless urinals which we can talk about later all of our faucets are not only lead free but they meet the water sense code of a 1.25 versus 2.25 aerator so you're saving 32 percent water there and then of course our shower heads are all water conservation they've got something called a turbine in, in the shower head, which mixes with air, and it, it gives the performance without sacrifice. So all of these products do meet the 20% reduction of water code that WaterSense has on the market. But, you know, the funny thing about when you talk about all these different, you know, flushing toilets that are like 1.2 and, and aerators, people immediately say, oh, they're not going to be like what I'm used to. And, and, uh, that's that's how, how do you address that? I mean, the 1.2, am I going to have to flush twice because, you know, number two can't get down the toilet? I mean, how do you address all those issues? Well, what it is is, um, and I'm, I'm happy you asked that because we're very proud of what we do here. We have an engineering facility here in, in Piscataway, New Jersey, in our headquarters that it d- takes great stance in designing a product. So it all has to do with the engineering aspects of how trapways are designed, the water velocity, the whole internal mechanisms of designing a toilet. And we are have become so cutting edge that we can do that. And we can guarantee you that the 1.28 toilets that you can install today or the 1.6 gallons will flush better than those old five and 3.5 gallons because then we had different technology. So it really is, it's, it's the technology that we have put into developing our products that will give you the absolute performance with, uh, without sacrificing performance, but you will have the water savings in, in not only in your wallet, but the good thing to do for the, for the world. Now let's, let's go over to, um, this is what I actually love I was on this part so much in on your website the calculator and I'm actually having a oh, yes. right now you if if you can't see the